showtime here inside Okinawa Arena. The grand finale, the final contest happening here in Japan. Germany going up against Slovenia. Two perfect teams, both moving on to the quarterfinals. But right now, it's all about posturing as they prepare to head to Manila. Despina Barn alongside FIBA Hall of Famer Andrew Gaze. Andrew, these two teams quite familiar with each other, now meeting for their 12th time here tonight. They've traded back and forth, wins and losses in the European qualifiers to get here. But maybe the best example of the test came in Tokyo. And at that time, Slovenia knocked off Germany. What can we expect here tonight? Yes, yeah, spot on to Spina. I think that that's one that we can look back to on a lows almost a couple of years ago. Now, you can, uh, th there's a lot of similarities between the two. I think Slovenia had nine players on this current roster that was a part of that group. And Germany had eight, and in that one, Slo Slovenia got hold of them and beat them quite comfortably. So uh, Germany, though, they've got a different coach, a different look, and Slovenia have shocked a lot of people the way in which they have gone about their business throughout this tournament. A lot of people knew that they were very good because they had Luka Doncic, but the way in which they've established their roles, and, and in particular, Klayman Krippelich has been fantastic with 15 and a half points and Mike Toby, that rock in the middle with 14 points and seven boards. They've played a, a nice support cast to, to Luca, who is leading the tournament in scoring. But uh, for Germany, they spread it around. They've got Dennis Schroeder is the engine room and he's averaging 18, 18 points a game. But they've got five guys averaging in double figures. So they get... A, a lot of help from a variety of different people. They can beat you in, in so many ways. But Daniel Tice has been special. Moritz and Wagner, he's been really good, averaging almost 14 points a game. And it's, it's well, on paper, I think, that Germany go into this one as the favourites because they've got greater depth. But we said that against Australia, who have nine NBA players, and Slovenia completely dominated that game. Well, regardless, everyone's going to get a trick here tonight because Slovenia and Germany, the best shooting teams here in the World Cup competition across the board through four games. They are shooting at an extreme high level clip and they are both looking to secure that top seed as they move on to the quarterfinals. Additionally, Germany with the turnaround on the heels of Coach Herbert coming in. As you see, Australia defeated Georgia earlier today. Both Germany and Slovenia riding their longest win streak here on World Cup stage. Germany stretching back. They've got seven in a row. Meanwhile, Slovenia... here in just a few minutes and before we get started we will stand for the national anthems first with Slovenia they are the visiting team followed up by Germany with the anthem of Slovenia
we have reached over to the lower seed and we're not sure who that looks like in group L just yet Canada, Latvia, Spain and Brazil there's too many scenarios but, to think about it looks like Latvia's going to get that win they're in the third quarter and they lead it by 16 over Brazil so but you're right who knows the contest between Canada and Spain is going to be an interesting one and here the officials in charge of this very important contest yeah next here from Bosnia, Puerto Rico and Mexico Great combination here for the show that is going to unfold in front of us. And for Slovenia and Germany, they're both with only 11 available players here tonight. Slovenia going to be without Jakob Lazic now for the third game in a row. He injured his upper body injury that he suffered against Georgia. So he was once day to day, and they're deciding that he's a no go again here tonight. On the flip side, Germany. Not going to be having Franz Wagner. He, in the first game, tweaked his left ankle, and so they're out without Franz. It's an impressive starting lineup they've got, and uh, we spoke about Luka Doncic and what he means to this uh, this club. He's the leading scorer. They play through, and the ball's hit in his hands a lot. Nikolic has been shooting the, the ball well, and Mike Toby, he's usually the one running out those middle long ball screens, and we take a look at the the numbers and there they are it's uh, an impressive set of stats because not only does he put points on the board he'll help tidy up some work on the glass he if you're, if you're free he's going to find you with those seven assists and like i said the middle on balls is very very regular for slovenia and this is the man that's in there a lot of the time 18 points against australia and a lot of those coming early on the 12 boards and the five assists and he's once again playing some really good basketball averaging 14 points a game and a little over seven rebounds and the coach deserves a lot of credit for the way in which he's mastermind this uh this setup that slovenia has put together what they've been able to do the last few years behind the tutelage of coach Gordon Herbert has been impressive because you talk about their last appearance at the Olympics and what they've done since. This is a unit that is working and playing extremely at a high level. It is, yeah. He took over Henrik Brewer at Rodel and since then they've had some really good results. Obst is one that you need to keep an eye on because he can shoot the ball. Tice on the boards. Bortman doing a lot of that. Heavy lifting around the basket as well. Bonga, he comes into the starting lineup. That's a, a really tall guard, but it's this man, Dennis Schroeder, who is, has been fantastic. His numbers have dropped a little bit because he was, he's been rested, such has been their advantage in a couple of their games. So he hasn't necessarily played the minutes of some of the others, but he's been electric. He can score it from the perimeter, and his backcourt partner has also been really good in Marado low he is scoring the ball well and, and shooting it from the three-point line he's hit some really big buckets a huge bucket against Australia in the dying minutes and it was a three-pointer that he was able to knock down so they're going to expect a, a lot from him again and Gordy Herbert like I said he's in, inherited a very good team and he's been able to take him to another level with that bronze medal in the Euros last year and then now advancing at the very least to the quarters, regardless of what happens here. Coach Herbert in this group returned seven off the Tokyo squad, making their seventh World Cup appearance. And then we got a seven game win streak in World Cup competition. We're looking at the German fans in the stands. Parents here to the left of Franz and Moritz Wagner. This is a group that is been behind the team since the jump, traveling near and far to get here to Okinawa, Japan. And for these two teams, both have a lot of chemistry, both have a lot on the line. And for Slovenia, one thing that's helped them along the way is 
Coach Sekulic is asking them just to remain calm. And we've seen him stop in timeouts and remind the group, hey, you know, we got this. Well, they do. And what we have noticed is that they're very aggressive and play physically on the defensive end. And as such, they, they commit a lot of fouls. They're third in the competition in fouls committed. They're averaging over 23 fouls per game. And that, I think, has led to a little frustration some of the times, and Coach Sekulic, like you mentioned, has uh, been able to just keep them calm and have a look at that. Ranked second in World Cup, uh, two-point averages, 66.1%. So when they get it inside, they get inside the three-point line, they shoot it really well. And But they take an, an enormous amount of three-pointers. In fact, no one in the competition takes more three-point field goal uh, attempts than what Slovenia do. So Germany need to be on that. They shoot it a little over 33%, so that's not bad. But if they can get hot, like we saw against Australia and for Germany, when we talked about those two-point percentages, and you think, well, down the other end, we've got to do our work. They're going to be exa saying the exact same thing. We've got the number one and two ranked team in two-point field goal percentages right here competing it. So they got some size, they can finish around the basket. You know when Coach Herbert was asked about, you know, looking at the Slovenia and what are they going to do, he jokingly said, you know, hope Luca misses, you know. And he sat back there and kind of just let the question sit for a moment and said, you know what? Luca and the passion that he has for the game is really just tremendous. And so after he gave the credit where credit is due, he goes, you know what? We've had some success in Euro basket. We're gonna we have a game plan that has been able to slow down Slovenia. You know, they're gonna go back to that. And so we will see here today how that pans out. But again, this is the 12th meeting between these two national teams. Slovenia leading 7-4 all time. But most recently, it was the Germans that defeated Slovenia. It depends on, and I'm really curious to see what Coach Gordon does. Does he does he double team like Australia tried to do? And they slowed Luka down a little, but it opened it up for everyone else. And in particular, on the three-point line, they were stuck in closeouts and weren't successful at it. So we'll wait and see. Tyson Toby in the circle here for jump ball. Good luck. And Germany. And Schroeder will track the ball down first. Schroeder's another one. Schroeder, he, he, he pulled up lane the other day as well. Down against Georgia, he looked like he had some back issues. Tice will take the first jumper. Missy. Bonga, put back. Bonga's the one that's going to guard Luca. Picks up an easy put back. Waits for the screen. And switch. Schroeder in front. Doncic has the manpower. He's got two. He leads the game so well. And they decide to go to switching. And puts the smaller Schroeder on Luca. And he just backs him down to his spot and jumps over him. Easy two. Boltman on the wing. Schroeder lets it fly. Misses. And Luca there for the board. Driving left, Boltman, hand in his face, in and out. Bonga loses his handle here. Doncic picks his pocket. The pass in, the lay in. There by Zoran Dragic. Turnovers a big factor in any game you play, and these teams like to get out and run. And Slovenia do a good job. Points off turnovers. They're fifth in the competition. A little over 21 points, 21 a game off turnovers. So Germany need to take care of it. Tice ends up shooting it in front of Toby, way off its mark. Bowman in there. The ball goes the other way. On here. So he's grabbing his left thigh. He's talking to the coach. And that is not an encouraging sign if you're a Slovenian fan or a Luka fan. So bringing the ball up is Nikolic. Doncic now 
Backing down to the block. He'll hook it right over Bonga. Having his way. That's just way too easy. Bonga's got really good size. He should be able to match it. Got to be more physical with him. Don't let Luka get to that spot. By Schroeder to Tice. What a pass. Hook pass in there to Tice. Mike Toby gets it to Doncic. Dribble spin, going baseline. Finish with the right and one, Luka Doncic. Well, it's usually to work on the on ball, but right now he's taken Bonga to the box twice and just overpowered him. And this time it's going to be an N1. You see them. Just a brilliant pass by Schroeder. How's that? Not a lot of gap to get that ball through. Somehow or other, he found that gap. So Doncic, seven of Slovenia's first nine points. Schroeder off the screen. And a whistle away from the ball. through screens. So fresh shot clock here for Germany. Tice cuts. Ball is right in the gym. The alley Schroeder to Tice. That is unbelievable silver service by Schroeder. On point. Tice just had to jump up and tuck it in. What a pass. Tice in front of Doncic. Driving left, a little stutter fade away here. Bonga covers the rebound. Bonga, high low, Tice again, no. Nikolic blowing past Bonga. Mike Toby pulls it down. Doncic stays at midcourt. Pepelic on the block, the youngster here, Mine for two. To the advantage of Schroeder down low. Schroeder showing off some handles there between the legs, and he gets it on the opposite end of the... He's got it on the screen. Seen it with the passes, and this time he makes the tough reverse layup look real easy. Schroeder. Oh. Hands over the foul. What we're seeing here, if you sort of first a little razzle dazzle by Schroeder, and then as casual as you like, a soft kiss off the glass. But basically, the way I interpret what Germany are doing here is they're saying, well, okay, if Luca gets 40 and we shut everyone else down, well, okay, we'll live with it. And like we saw with Australia, where they were trapped him, trying to do whatever they could to get the ball out of his hands. They're doing their best, they're just switching on everything, and like I said, trying to shut down everyone else. Every on ball, they're switching. Doncic inside to Toby, a kick, Prepilic, baseline three, off. Boltman inside, Tice knocked away, Toby blocks it. Doncic now changing gears. One and done for Slovenia. And the foul handed over by Mike Toby. Slovenia's second team foul. Midway through the first quarter here, it's a three-point game, Slovenia out in front. That is just a perfect pass. You shouldn't underestimate the athleticism of Tyson. He's really going to read that, but that is put on perfect position. Let's 
Gonga here to inbound. Schroeder gets it. Working off the screen. Back up to Dice. No. Can't get the same connect. And a foul by Wolfman. Tyus trying to throw it down, but he had the size advantage. Sometimes you get a little bit over hyped trying to throw it down with the LU, but sometimes you just catch it, bring it down, and put it back up as well. Intruder. Providing a bit of advice for Tyus. Dragic calling his own number, top of the key, right in the eye of Holtman. Hopes is a three-point marksman for Germany. Schroeder will do the work this time. That was deep. Good couple of meters behind the three-point line. He's been solid from the three-point line, but at big times, big moments, being able to make big shots. Doncic driving again, Bonga on the floor. That is a flop. Sure, that at least got to be a flop warning or something. And substitutions are made here, no whistle. Doncic certainly bring it to the official's attention. Here it is, he's been beaten all ends up a couple of times, so this time he said, well, maybe I can just pop the official. Now that is just a classic. If you're doing an example and trying to provide a, a video to officials on what a flop is. I, I'm not sure you can get much better than that. So a timeout here on the floor. We're going to go ahead and listen in. Hey, listen, let's go. Hey, let's go! Fuck! Sit down! Let's go! Sit down! No! You tell me what Sit down! I got time out! Let's go! Don't sit! I know, I'm just telling you, sit down! Come here! Let's go, we got Dennis. Let's go! Hey! Dan, let's go. So a frustrating. That wasn't, uh, that wasn't encouraging because you got Schroeder and Tice going at it. And coach trying to just calm the players down. And the feedback and the talk from Schroeder. And then we have a look at the heat map. Look at Luka Doncic. You see the bulk of the work when he's on the when he's got the ball is coming at the top of the key. There are all those middle on ball talk, uh, pick and rolls that I was talking about. And then you see a little bit more skewed slightly to the left, but he can beat you in all sorts of ways, which was clearly demonstrated by that heat mat. Ball into Wagner, driving baseline, drawing two. We've got a story within a story based on what we saw in that timeout. With the two stars, Schroeder and Tice, we saw Schroeder having words with Tice during the game and it spilled out into the timeout. Coach tried to let him sort it out and it just escalated. And then he tried to get Schroeder to sit down and I think he's done the right thing. This takes courage as a coach. Sit your two stars down and let them figure it out. And some are on the other end trying to add to Slovenia's lead. Low brings the ball up for Germany. Bongo, all alone. Why not? A miss. On the screen, a lot of movement happening from away from the ball. Doncic pulls the trigger in Wagner's eye. Talking to to Wagner, and you saw why that heat mat had that so much red at the top of the the key, because that's where Lucas does a lot of his operating, and he sees the floor so well from the middle of the floor, and knocks down the three ball. He's got 12, and Germany just 
having problems scoring. Eight point advantage here for Slovenia. Doncic thinking about it. Wagner in front. Doncic step back three. That one's off. Slovenia here gonna recover. Dragic and another chance. Low now on Doncic. Power move, no look pass. Krepelic in the corner. Does not go down. Great pass. And that's when he's in that middle cylinder, that middle third of the floor. And this is we will check this. And I will check. Don't, 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 Working around the horn, Giffe gets it down to Wagner, tipped away. Demets. And there's been, it's interesting because the, the entire tournament, the shooter on the bench just trying to regroup and calm himself down. But Demets, uh, he has traded minutes with Toby. I don't know if we've seen in this entire tournament where at least one of those has been on the floor at the same time. And, Luca has to go off now because he's got some blood on the shoulder. He's been tidied up here. There's too much to it. But there is a noticeable difference. It's a lot different when d is in there. He can't spread the floor like Toby. And it's not quite as mobile on the defensive end. Shoot a shoot, low, fade away. Misses. Horvat now with the ball for Slovenia. Horvat, the one subbed in for Doncic. Somar, just a 22-year-old with the ball right now. Got some tangible minutes against Australia two nights ago. <laughs> and a veteran in Clement Prepolic. It's a foul. Prepolic doesn't start, but she whiz, he has starter impact. Plays 23 minutes a game. He's the second leading scorer on the team. And an excellent three-point shooter. Plays with a really high basketball IQ. We see Slovenia going to the free throw line. And this is where they do a lot of their work. They get there the second most of any team in the competition. They get there 27 and a half times a game. So. Krepelic misses the first as Luka Doncic gets one for two, the lead out, now to nine. Mahato Low running the O for Germany. Halut gives it back. Wagner rolling. Little pump fake, he'll drive in, try to split defenders and travel instead. That's where he had to just pull up. He had the, the size and the nice chippy just on the box, but tried to get greedy and get right to the rim. And this has been some defensive performance, holding Germany to only 11 points in the quarter. They found the going tough. They had four turnovers, and not shot the ball well. Not a great start for Germany. Prepolic skip pass, Horvath driving baseline. Gets it back to his buddy. Inside, better look, Demet, finish on the left. The unselfishness, the passing. It's pretty to watch from Slovenia right now. The foul here on the ball, Howard. Another look at the fantastic ball movement. Halut 
with the rock, driving, splitting, laying it up, no. And now Prepolich taking his time up court. Two Prepoliches on this Slovenian squad. They're a pair of cousins. This is Clemen, the 30-year-old. And the fearless Mark Schmidt right on cue. Clemen Prepolich for three. And that's the dirtiness of his game. He comes off the bench and instant production. Well, it's been an impressive start by Slovenia. They have dominated and just picked up from where they left off against Australia. And if anything, have gone to a new level. Both ends of the floor, blanketed, completely blanketed Germany and got it going on the offensive end. Well, this guy's going to get a lot of the accolades and you're seeing why. 12 points in the quarter, couple of boards, an assist. And just the composure that he shows, the connection between Schroeder and Tice look nice at times, but when there's a, a blow up, some frustration, how quickly they can shake that off and how quickly Coach Herbert wants to make a point about how you need to combine is going to be interesting. And it's a tough one for the coach because you've got two stars who you need, but now look at that three ball. That, that is a good close out by Gordon. And that, this was at the end of three or four giving up good shots to find great shots. And they have executed magnificently. This has been fun to watch by Slovenia, the way in which they've gone about it. It's beautiful basketball. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and scan the QR code on your screen. Make sure you download the Courtside 1891 app. That's where streams, schedule, scores. You can find it all on the Courtside 1891 app. The takeaway, team in. Right to the rack. Did a bit more of that. Got to somehow spark their offense and getting some points from turnovers and easy transition baskets. Back to back this time, low picking pockets. Team line going up strong. He'll head to the free throw line. And Coach Herbert here choosing to stay with his second unit. It is, and, and I think this is about just as much about making a statement as well. We see. Again, it was probably the right thing to do. Try and send him to the free throw line to earn him a little top up. So Timo hits the first. Johannes, the 29-year-old shooting four who plays in Germany. We'll go two for two. <laughs> so Ma working off the screen, hollow huh? with the blocking foul. So Giga Samar, the 22-year-old, gets it in safely to Prepolich. Gets it right back on the run. And Prepolich from the logo. Yes! Three points. You see the two these made, they're not off the dribble. You've got to close out on him hard. You can't offer too much help. He's too dangerous. Well, we're going to take it in. Hollows now is to the right of the key, a miss. And Prepolich to Chibicek. 
Now everybody waited to see that touch every bit of the rim and go out. Now it's now other way. Step through three, Giffe. A nice answer. So Mar having trouble here. Wagner jumps. Dimas is hit. Does not Sheesh. control the ball. A lot of contact. Yeah, the pass off and just comes in, hits him in the side. No call. Meanwhile, Doncic, Toby. Yeah, he certainly got hit. Have a look. Got hit in the head. Back on the floor for Slovenia. Low, three-pointer. Knocked out of there. Oh, and Wagner is going to pick up the foul. And Doncic quick to get up and get in his face. What's a, a review? Have a look. Just leans into him. Well, he leaned into him. I think. You see, look at that. Yeah, that's a heavy hit, but he puts perhaps a little bit of bail on it. As he's renowned for. But that's that's a foul. He's a bit cautious of what he's doing. He probably didn't need that. Drop the shoulder like that. Back-to-back wow. -back team bounce here for Germany. They drill by 10, that's Lowe's first. So we need to get that review in time. And here's the same matchup, opposite end. Jumpy out there. And tit for tat. Luca wanting to make a statement. Let's have a look here. And again, similar thing. It's a foul. Luca shouldn't do it, but Wagner puts. Now that, that here is not enough to knock a guy like George Buck up to the ground like that. His parents were in the stands calling for the technical. For Germany ball, they trail by 10. Halut tripped up a little. Low with five to shoot. The hard way, picks it. Corner shot is up in time, way off its mark though. And a violation here on the shot clock. Schroeder still on the bench. That's his toss. And Bench to check in now. Doncic working behind the screen. Going towards Toby. He feeds the big man, and that connection's been alive all tournament long. Thompson intruder. You see at the top of your screen are cuddling on the sideline now, so they've kissed and made up. Wagner from three. Tipped up by Timon. Who looks there for the putback? Excuse me, Nils Giffey for two. Yeah. And you'd love to see it, right? Your family, you're going to probably what is that from time to time. It just escalated a little further than what you'd like, but when you've got that competitiveness going on, and you're out there with the same objectives, and you've got players that really to your team. You don't mind it if they're holding each other accountable when it gets to it like it did that time. And there you see Schroeder holding out that holy branch and Tice accepting it. And they move on. 
Smiles on the face, as they should be. They've had a good run. Like you said, nine to five in the quarter. They only had 11 in the entire first quarter. So offense is picked up for Germany. Nikolic riding there to Toby. Bonga's there. He'll stick with it and get another two. Schroeder with the ball. Timon spotted up. He's going to drive in instead. Extra pass taken away. Doncic there. Twice in front of Doncic. Three ball. Off back rim. And Brokovich there slowing down low. Can you see? Luka, when he's got those beats on him, he's prepared to. Three ball. Didn't need an on-ball screen there with all the switching that's going on. He's got the matchup in light. Just missed the shot. You can see why on that big map that we showed you a little earlier, why it's blazing red at the top. Hopes back on the floor for Germany. Tice turning, shooting on Toby. Misses. And Dantage will trot, trot up court. Prepolic, baseline take, miss. Tice handles it. Oops, three ball. Money. Three ball. Yeah, pass by Schroeder. Doncic turning up Bonga. Around the horn we go, Slovenia, open look by Prepolic on the corner, in and out. Another example of the, the ball movement and selfishness. Schroeder, right to the rack. That man knows how to cut through traffic. Lead trim to seven. Here. Tice staying in front. Foul. And Tice is saying all ball. Review, review. Yeah, it's a tough one because the players are wanting it. They might be going to do it, but you will see Schroeder. That's about it. On the way to the basket. Yeah, it might have been a little clearing out as well. There's certain players that. Defensive transition, you can load up and perhaps try and protect the paint. Ops has got one of them. You need to pick him up early because he's open. He's going to let it fly. He's a, a good three-point shooter. Doncic here missing the first. Of course, there's a lot of Dallas Mavericks fans here in the stands. Is there ever? Every game he's played here in Okinawa, they have come out, sell out crowds to see one of the greatest players in the world play, who misses two free throws. Five games in ten days for these two teams. They're both moving on to Manila in the quarterfinal round. This game's about placement. 
and seating as Schroeder strokes it from three. Buckledge there, a little pressure came. And a whistle against Slovenia. He's got to be on the screen. Nikolic. Nikolic just trying to help his teammates out with a little too much. Four for the foul. Another turnover. That's only four for Slovenia. Tolerable levels. In contrast, Germany dropped it up seven times, a little high. Shooter turning the Jets, Bonga. Shot is up and good. He's at Bonga now. One for two from beyond the arc. This one cuts the lead to four. And Sylvana needs to talk things over. Yeah, well, Shooter's come back on. He's trying to calm the team down by distributing the ball. That's his fourth assist. And penetration and kick. Got him right back in this one. Four points, the difference, and it's a 17 to 7 quarter so far. Possessions for Slovenia. Well, but even further than that, if you look at their last 10, they've only scored twice. So two out of the last 10 resulted in a bucket. Down the other end, Dennis Schroeder is starting to cause some havoc. There's the, the heat pad, and that's extreme. All of it. And what it does show, he can go left and right. I know a lot of coaches we've heard on the timeouts, they want to send him left. But if you look at that heat mat, he is very comfortable on both sides of the floor and, of course, in the middle. Nikolic surveying here. Will pull the trigger and put a bonga off. Tice to Schroeder. Why not? He thought he was hitting with a hot. One and done, though, for Germany. The biggest lead here for Slovenia, 14 points. Now dwindled down. Sorry, just kind of Just keep an eye off the ball on Luka. He's, he's hobbling. He's got some issues. And has to walk really big minutes. Really played 13 this one. Still got three minutes to go, but he looks, he's getting some rest on the sponsor LED signing. Well, even the last game against Australia, we saw him wanting some attention for his left hip. And getting some extra stretches before re-entering in the second half. We saw him wincing earlier today, too, as Alps does his job as the marksman for Germany. That one brings the game within one. Doncic here trying to end the cold spell for Slovenia. He goes right for the rack. The reverse, reverse. Drafty. He hobbles back. But the way in which he just used the rim to protect him. Had some shot blockers coming from behind. Went to the opposite side. Made it look easy. Having to shoot, Schroeder with the ball. Nikolic in front of him. The guard game, this one a takeaway. Mike Toby, more patient, better position. Volkman in front 
of Doncic. Enough space to let it fly and then miss. Doncic probably having one of his worst shooting performances here in Okinawa. We can probably be credit to the wincing that we're seeing him have. That's right. We saw him go from 5 to 17 in one of the earlier football games. But that was the one where they had a huge margin. It's not too bad here. 6 of 13, but it's from the three-point line that you're referring to, I think, just being where it's 1 of 6. We've seen a, a lot of great shooters throughout the World Cup, but and the, the shooting techniques, this is this is as good as you want to see the, the stroke that Hobbs has got. Both from the free throw line and from the field. Really efficient, good looking stroke that has got plenty of margin for error with what he does. Doncic's pass intended there for Pepelich. The feed to Schroeder. Traffic. He's rolling. Quick to bounce up. <laughs> One of the quickest recoveries from hitting the floor. Straight back up. And a chance to take the lead now for Germany. It's almost like these two teams switch jerseys at quarter time. It's 11 to 25 in the first quarter. It's 22 to nine in this one. Dennis Schroeder, the captain for Germany, makes the first, we're knotted up, and here's a look at how Schroeder likes to drive in his efficiency level. Here. Yeah, and that is high when you think of points per driving. So every time he drives, you see he's mostly working in that middle third where that's 44% but it's what you get out of it. So every time he drives, he's getting a bucket, which is, of all the players in the tournament, and there are some superstars, he's number three, and that's inexcusable. Bowman's put back, gives Germany the lead here off the missed free throw. Under a minute to play. An offensive board off a free throw. Nothing will get a coach angry, more angry than that. Now we're getting in transition. Germany pushing the tempo. Younger Prepolich here in front of Schroeder. Schroeder doesn't like what he sees. They like the matchup, they go back to it. Voltman, tight baseline two is good. His shoulder here. Got one eye on the clock. Eight to go. Now Tice picking up Doncic. He'll cross shoulder down. Spin, fade away. Three. One for win. And so the first half has come to a close. And it's been quite a turnaround as Germany puts up 27 there in the second quarter to take the lead. The scoreboard reads 38 34 Germany. Well, the 27 is impressive, but it's the work at the other end. I think it's more impressive to hold Slovenia to only nine. They became really stagnant. The ball movement, the man movement really slowed down in that second quarter. Give a lot of credit to Germany for the way in which they've been able to defend as such. It's created some transition opportunities. They're shooting at, both teams are shooting at 45% in total. And look at the rebound count. Germany dominating the glass. Coughed it up a few more times. Ops came on and gave them a spark. And they've spread the scoring out, uh, Germany, whereas it's more concentrated with Luca. And the ball's in his hands a lot, and he's already taken 14 shots in the contest. And the next best after him has been Prepolich. Clayman is two of five. So they're very Luca dominant, and it was special in the first quarter, but Germany, they had the answers. And after some argy bargy and a little bit of conflict, Dennis Schroeder settled down. And when he came back on, he distributed the ball, he picked up his eight points. And 
Luca with most of the damage. 12 of those 14 coming in the first quarter. Well, Andrew, with every great story, there's always adversity, and you got to climb that hill to get over it. And so what we saw from Germany, being able to go back out on the floor after being down there 25-11 after the first quarter was quite impressive. And it all started here with the second unit. It did. And, you know, they got some valuable baskets. Niels. Neil Skiffe came on and gave him a spark as well, and that's a guy that hasn't played a lot. And Lucas' distribution, particularly to Toby, is going to need to really lift in that second half because you, you look at the way they're scoring. They've got three guys, three guys that do the bulk of the scoring. And they've been okay. And who can come in and lend some support? They had a great start. Looked like things were going their way, and then ops. Talk about that shooting technique. Gets it into a perfect position. Stetsman follows it. Eight points in 12 minutes for Opes coming off the bench. And then you see your captain reinvigorated here. Yeah, Schroeder making things happen for himself or for his teammates. Bonga averaging nine points in the game in the tournament. He, he doesn't go chasing the three ball, but he... He can knock it down. And his obst again. The screen away. Another bit caught. So there's some issues that Slovenia need to address at both ends of the floor following that second quarter. Right now, it's a four-point game. Germany out in front, 38-34. We'll be back with the start of the third quarter. Whatever our gender, color, belief or capability we are all on the same team we have the power to change lives through basketball together, together we, we are, are stronger, stronger. No, no matter, matter your, your origin, origin basketball can bring everyone together, together. basketball for good Jones down the middle, throws up, and again, the king of South Sudan just went up Juba Airlines and connecting with the alley oop. Wait, young Gabriel. It's run up by 12 points. She's now trying to hang in the air, and somehow, someway, Shilde turned down, just went coast to coast. That is incredible, coach. Yeah, beautiful finish here. Dundao giving up so much size. Kobo is open in the corner. He takes his time, and for good reason, as you see Zach shot go in at the buzzer. Holding on, he'll give it to his buddy. What a nap. Hey, remember the name. He's gonna go to the line to shoot one. Right? He didn't even realize he got hit on the dunk. Blocks it out, look for the three-pointer. Up in the mid range, puts it up and just gets it to drop right at the end of the first half. And you can just hear this crowd slowly get back into this game. But what a rejection by AJ Edu. Cameron loses the handle. Here comes Ahab Amin. Oh, between the legs, what a play! Hands it off, going through his legs, Zarad flies in, and Ahab Amin, you're on the highlight reel. Max Shuni running, extra handle, ball tune in the finish. Max oh, Shuni. Just beautifully read, knew that the defense was coming at him. Have a look at it. So he assesses the situation. He sees two of them coming at him, and the no looker in transition. The pass deflected, it goes to Marai. Oh, he gets rejected. Tony Smith Milner. Where did that come from? It's Mexico. 
almost all rare that he misses that badly. There's, oh my! Rondé Hollis Jefferson just flies through the air and even his wife raises her eyebrows. That is unbelievable. These guys will be legends in their own country, but also in the international basketball world forever. So welcome back here inside Okinawa Arena. Halftime between Luka Doncic's Slovenia squad and Germany. Slovenia now down by four. Andrew Gaze, what's your takeaway here of the first half? It, that, was, that was the action that was really hurting Germany early on. Luka was on fire and just powering and bullying, playing bully ball and getting to the, the rim. He knocked down a, a three ball and everything was flowing for them. And I still stand by the strategy of what I think Germany are trying to do, and that is Hey, we want to compete and contest on Luka. We're going to switch everything. And they're switching everything, and it might lead to mismatches like this. But what they're saying is, well, OK, if can, those times when Luka gets going, as long as we shut everyone else down, we'll be OK. And you see all those red misses from the three-point line? A lot of them because they're switching, and they've got really big guys closing out. They haven't necessarily always been out there to make contact, but they've been out there to intimidate him, have him think about it. And down the other end, it's this man, Dennis Schroeder, after a blow up in one of the timeouts. He was able to get back in, refocus, and he's crafty. He's got the ball on a string, and he's so dynamic when he gets to the basket. He can blow by you with pace. He can be crafty like you just saw there, and he can also shoot the three ball. And what he does do is when he does penetrate, he finds people. And if they, you collapse on him, he'll be able to make the pass. And he might have got away with a little push off with the left hand on that one. Uh, but he has, it's been good. And he's had to go a bit on his mind, given the altercation with Tyson, then also with the coach. Look, it can look more dramatic than it actually is because those types of things can happen quite regularly in this competitive environment, elite athletes. And you can get, when there's so much at stake, you can get a little bit angry. But usually, not always, but in good teams, usually you move on quickly. You get it out of your system, and that seems like what happened. The memory of a goldfish, right? That's what you need as you run a number of aspects of the of the game, but certainly as a shooter, you do. Great shooters are put up quickly forget about your misses and move on to your next shot. Doncic needs to have that from the three-point line. One of seven, but he's looked tough when he gets close to the paint. The only issue I, or reservations I have with Luca is that he looks hammered. He's playing seemingly on one leg. It's like the, thigh or a knee or he seems to be grabbing and there he is there wincing as he goes to comes out from the locker room he's rubbing that left thigh oh, and some of those well, can just be a might have got something in the last game that caused some problem in the gap but when you think of moving on to the Philippines you've got a bit more time to work through some of those issues but without Luka, it's, uh, it's going to be an uphill battle. He's not playing and not playing well. Both Slovenia and Germany will be going to the Philippines. So tomorrow is a big travel day for everybody out of Okinawa. And now these two are competing for the top two seeds here in the final grouping here in, in Japan. Both perfect heading into this contest. 
both wanting that top seed. So hopefully they can match up against a lesser seed on the opposite end. And at this point, I think we have a final score between Latvia and Brazil. So Latvia will go through. They won that one quite easily in the end. And they 104 to 84. Latvia has been bested. Now they're just waiting on the Spain and Canada yeah. result to see who will join them from that side of the, the draw. And those two teams will cross over against well, whoever wins out of Canada and Spain will cross over to these two teams. And that's all happening in the quarterfinals in Manila. We're in Okinawa, though. This is the grand finale here. This Nina Barton alongside Andrew Gaze and our closest German and Slovenian friends. Our closest 8,000 of them, huh? <laughs> That's right. And what a venue this has been. And the excitement that the teams have brought to Okinawa and in particular the host nation. They had another spectacular win last night. And the fans here, they love their basketball and they love coming along. And Checking out the action in the FIBA World Cup. Again, these two teams are extremely familiar with one another. This is actually the 12th meeting with the senior team. Slovenia owns that record seven and four, but it was Germany who had the most recent victory in the European qualifiers to get here. That final score, 90-71, so a 19-point spread here. Very tight as both teams are down a player. No Franz Wagner for Germany. And Slovenia without Jakob Blazic. Both those guys certainly sticking around as this journey will continue. My word. So a, a qualification process that these teams are in to get through to the Olympic Games. Two of the top, the top two finishing European teams qualify from Europe. Let's try and listen in here. Okay, come on, put in a we're looking for that. If we don't, if we don't have that, we don't have that. Back to Dennis, play two-man game. You guys can play. Here we space the floor. All right. No question. Why do you guys do this? Yeah, three guys. Then you got really left. Seven, you three, one, two, three. Coach Homer back in full control of his bench. We had an impressive second quarter burst on the offensive end, and to Andrew's point, even more impressive, only holding Slovenia to nine there in the second. If you see the QR code on your screen, make sure you go ahead and scan that, download the World Cup app. The brackets, how these two teams will move forward, scores, stats, you name it. It is not a quiet summer. To start the third quarter, welcome back inside Okinawa Arena. Justina Barton alongside FIBA Hall of Famer Andrew Gaze. It's Germany with a four-point advantage here, and they cough up the first possession. Really good pass, good set. Not just good quite reel it in. It was a good action. Germany picking up full court. Bonga in front of Doncic. The trap came. Ball easily over court. Waltman pops out. Inside to Prepolic. Makes the move off the block. Dine Prepolic. Pass by Drogic. Knew he had the size advantage down low took advantage of it. Spitting through traffic, Schroeder having to pull things out as he nearly lost the handle. 
The feed to Tice. Floater's good. himself to the teammate as well. Another beautiful pass. Six assists now. For Schroeder. Nikolic here. Wing shot miss. Nikolic and Doncic now going to work. Fade away. Doncic hits it. No whistle. Two bodies on the floor. Both putting their hands up. One asking for a charge and one asking for a block. They negated one another out. Oaks working off the screen from Tice, gets to the baseline. Schroeder left alone, launches it from the wing, and there's nothing but net. Gerber's guy has ice in his veins. Doncic here. On this day's row. That heat map really in the, in the mind right now. Doncic is fast. And Tice can't pull it in. And Toby, excuse me, Toby. <laughs> Good when they're moving the ball around, they get some cutting action, loosen up the defense, and then get it back to him. And he's got to have some faith in his teammates to know that he's going to get it back and he'll make things happen. Running now with the drug each, the feed up, Nikolic. Foul handed over by Germany and Schroeder. Yeah, pass, the defense collapses. One win here. He's rude up and then it's just a, a training drill. Hundreds of those on a daily basis. Alexei Nikolic on the free throw line, the 28 year old point guard for Slovenia. <laughs> His first point of the game. Two for two. Back to a single possession. Schroeder. Pull up Jay, free throw line, good for two. Schroeder now for Germany. He's in his own. He's got 13 points. He's pulling his own number. Nikolic from deep. Miss, Toby gets it back. Mid-range for the big guy. No, won't go. And Slovenia ball. Excuse me, Germany ball. Yeah, not, not good signs here. They only throw it 7 to 6, but you see Toby trying to close out on Schroeder, but the offense is looking a bit clunky for Slovenia. At the start of the game, it's free flowing, good man, good ball movement, but started it. Really stick in hands and don't get as much fluency in it. Schroeder, heat check. That guy's still hot. 16 for Schroeder. Eight point lead, Germany's biggest of the contest. Gontrich back with the rock. He's driving in. Euro finish on the left with the right.
Oops to Tice. And Germany clicking. Nice. He was knocked out as he tried to defend the last play. He, he was running down like he was hobbling. And then as soon as he saw two points on offer, all of a sudden he was able to make a recovery. But it's this man, Dennis Schroeder, at the start of this third period. He's already got eight in the quarter. And he's up to 16. Ice in the veins. I think that's what that means. What is the game plan? Dennis Schroeder and company here adding on to their lead. Schroeder has not missed in the third quarter. That's right. Eight points in the quarter, like we mentioned. And the other thing that we talked about at the start of the game was Slovenia and their reliance on the three ball. They're number one in the tournament with three point two goals in each game. A little over 34. They shoot it at 33%, but Germany, they're switching action. It's created some problems from on the three point line. Four of 19 at 21%. And Aaron tells he lies. One of the biggest problems that Slovenia is facing at the moment. Bongo's going to pick up a, another personal here in his second. Doncic out there smiling, having some words with Schroeder as his buddy Toby is on the bench. Men. Andrew sends him through the double team behind the back pass to Prepolich. And he throws up the Hail Mary. The shot clock there. Nearing expiration. Shooter changing gears through traffic to his guy Tice. We've seen that now. That connect three times. I can't remember a basket in this quarter that hasn't involved Devin Schroeder with either him making it or him supplying it to someone. Now he's invigorated on the defensive end and that's a reach in and that's a foul. That'll be two shots. Each on the free throw line for Slovenia. And this is the first 34-year-old. His brother Boron Dragic played last year with Milwaukee in the NBA. He misses them both, and the ball's in Schroeder's hands. inside, Volton, and he gets dinged by Chibicek. Chibicek caught behind Volton. It's just a big unit. He pins you, and it's hard to get around him. Good foul, because he was beating it all ends up. And Andrew Gaze delivers the ball back into the play. Bongo with the ball. He'll start the offense here and go right to the rack. And one. A flex for the big guy. 
Isaac Bonga. Seven points for him. Six rebounds. Drogic has got the foul. Put on the push behind. So, Drogic in good defensive position, but it's him that they pulled the foul on. It's from the push from Drogic. Bell should be ran for Slovenia if they haven't already because they did a struggle getting stops. They gave up 27 points in the second quarter. Germany already reeled off 16. And then now, after a slow start to the contest, they only had 11. They're shooting at 55% from the field. Conscious here being covered. Chepacek, top of the key, misses. And Zontich hangs his head low. Schroeder, faking it two different ways. Tice, the chosen one. Giving Slovenia a whiplash out there. Lead pushed out to 15. 4-10 to play here in the third quarter, and Bongo takes it right out of Doncic's hands. starting to get out of hand. 17 points now. just blanketed. Slovenia, what a turnaround it was in the first quarter. Amazingly, for Slovenia. Six of the first quarter, Slovenia, where they had 25, they've only had 17 points since. Andrew, just the body language on the court, too. Well, the other thing is grabbing the low set at all. Nine out of the last ten positions, Germany had scored. Two out of the last ten, Slovenia has scored. And they've been relatively easy field goal attempts. Yeah. Three ball, finishing at the rim. In contrast, Slovenia, two out of ten in the turnovers. The last seven in a row. Seven possessions in a row. Germany with score. Prepolic, blocked there by Schroeder. Tice moving at a pretty high speed. Slowing things down now for Schroeder. Schroeder one on one, dumps it out to Tice. Bonga holds on for dear life. And now another two. Things aren't quite connecting, they're still able to find a way to get things done. there for Doncic to work off of. Oaks picks him up. Three from deep. And the ball will stay here. That was textbook by Oaks. He's going to switch, particularly when it's someone like Luka Doncic. You've got a hard show. Hard show switch. Didn't allow him to make that penetration to the middle. A lot of the times you see just a bit of when you switch. Bobs jumps out with some others. Luca forcing into a tough shot. Bonga goes to the sidelines for a rest. He's been exceptional. 12 points on 5 or 6 shooting. Prepolic here. Draws the foul. That will count for two. Prepolic, every time they call his number, he's found a way to convert. He's doing a little bit more. 
Saw in the possession before they ran that baseline screen for him. Slight touch there, but just can't ignore that. Privilege goes to the line. He's got nine. Make that ten. Oh, Chebicek reading the ball here, and Tyson's going to step out of bounds. No, it's going to be called a technical foul for a flop. By Chebicek? Yes. You see what he calls this technical. You need a hand. You need a hand. You need a hand. Second. Okay. Okay. Stop. Rapidly, stop. We have another whistle down here. There's another technical I think a Luca. Yeah. So there'll be two here. One for the flop. And then there's another one. Well, I thought there was a tech. We've got to get two. Germany's saying the same thing. There's a tech. Technical foul called on Luca. So first happened the first present this and then happened out the bounds. Okay? One more! Having some words. Check the check. Fell on the ground. But you sort of recognize a lot, but it was just Extend it out and then once it to fall on the ground, it's a bit like he was trying to draw a foul and he's just in the heat of it. the contest. There's I'm a terrible I'd be happy with the way this is unfolding right now. That's what Germany leads by. A very strange scene and sequence of events. Germany gets the ball back here. Have a look at a two three zone. Might as well. Oh, that's wide open. Giffe, wing three is good. Wide open in that zone. So they try to switch things up, Slovenia. And they would be a little gun shy after what they saw in their first possession of zone defense. So Doncic here, driving, fade away, off its mark. <laughs> and Schroeder steps out of bounds. So Slovenia another shot here. Schroeder in the attempt to push it. Really quiet now, man. Just lost the handle. Horvat checks in as Chebacek goes to the bench. And Doncic, not in the same form we've seen him early on in this competition. Step back three, Tice, well, making me mark my words. Well, is, you've got to be careful because he's, he's not going to back away from it. He won't be upset with Missing a few, he knows that in order for Slovenia to have a chance, he has to get cooking. Oops, opposite wing. Doncic with the rebound. And now he's going to try and switch gears right away, and he will get to the front row line. He's more than his but that's tough. Germany right now, and that's the odds that they're playing. They're, they're switching. There's big guys on him. They're just hoping that they can the contest the three. The dice was from A to B, not A to A.
if he gets that one to rattle in. A little flat with his free throws. Overall, look at his numbers in the NBA, and they're good from the free throw line. But there are periods where he goes cold and starts throwing ducks and doesn't get quite the arc on the shot. 23 tonight for Doncic. Wagner back on the floor for Germany. Gets the touch here, backdoor feed, Timon disrupted. Ball. He'll drive left, mid-range jumper. Doncic eyes down court. Schroeder jumps in front. Gives it to Demet. Close range. Drops in for Demet. And I like that screen as well. And Schroeder is particularly when he's guarding. Luka, they switch. See the size advantage. Demet's down low. They'll take advantage of it. A lot of the switching that's going on. It's been some guys like Bonga, who's guarding Luka, you can switch because he can defend the bigs when they roll. Paolo, against the zone. Okay, you're here, Mo. Hey, um, JT here. Okay, hey, 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 Andy here. Hey, Neil's here. Hey, good body, you bring it down. Hey, pass the Mo. All right, you die. You die. All right, we're looking for that die. We're looking for that kick. Hey, Paolo's here. If not, hey, hey, dribble hand up, dribble hand up, and short roll. Short roll, okay? Short roll. All right, we short roll. Hey, J hey, short roll, JT, you gotta come here and post up. Yes, I'm ready, but yes. The, but when the ball's on the wing, we gotta move behind the zone. All right? So Doncic and Slovenia are trying to dig up some magic here. They cut the lead to 14. And quickly, Germany calls a timeout. That's right, and, and they call that timeout. Spent that entire time out just figuring out what they're going to do against his own defense. Well, 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 they've last couple of possessions. It's been done to the enemy, Dr. Dennis Schroeder. Expressing himself. Ma'ago low with the rock. The point guard now in. While well, Schroeder gets a breather. Low, we've seen him go off in this competition. He hit six for six from beyond the arc just two nights ago. Can you keep it going? A miss. I'm pretty sure that's not what Herbert drew up. He was a poor position. Doncic on the other end. Giffé with the rebound. Team left here in the third quarter. Low with the ball. Needs help. Team on will shoot it from the free throw line. Misses. Wagner touches it. It will stay. So now, extra effort play here. Courtesy Mo Wagner. It's great hustle. Didn't give up on the play. So low inbound. Oops. Bach is ticking down. He's got to get a shot up. Turn. It's up in time and it's in. Count it. Germany has a few more on the scoreboard as the quarter comes to a close. 68-52. Yep, timed it perfectly. That's just good. Better offense beating not bad defense. Much more privilege could have done. So 10 more minutes to play. Andrew Gaze, how does Slovenia make this a contest? 
Well, they seem to have found a bit of a response from their zone defense. They needed to because it's progressively got worse for them. They gave up 11 outstanding in the first quarter, and then it was 27, and in the third, Germany went on a tear and had 30. And they adjusted to the zone, and they were able to come away with some stops. So somehow or other, Slovenia have got to devise a plan to restrict Germany into those mid to low teens, and that's tough. And they've got to go on a tear offensively. Outside of their first quarter, it's been heavy lifting for Slovenia. Nine in the second. And then it was 18. They were able to put on the board in the third. So scoring has been a problem, and I think although they like to play in that half court, they got to run the risk and just push it. There's really not much of a disadvantage. You might as well go down swinging, and if that means rather than losing by 16, you lose by 30, but you give yourself a chance, you may as well do that to give yourself a chance to finish on top and cross over in that quarterfinal against the lower ranked team. So fourth quarter is underway. Justina Barner alongside Andrew Gaze, Slovenia, Germany. The treat here to close out our time in Okinawa before these two teams move forward to Manila in the quarterfinals. That was an outstanding defensive effort Slid his feet, big guy guarding Luca and then trailed him and forced Luca into a punch made away shot. It's well done. Look at that as Horvath for Wagner, looked out of his hand. Nikolic, mid-range, liked it. A little bit closer for the point guard. Well, they're hanging around. 14 points is not beyond them by any stretch. And this offense against the zone, having all sorts of problems getting in. This sort of passing action and cutting, it's very stagnant. Wagner. This is on the take. No, you, you, you. There's ball here. You come on. The whistle. And Prepolich. Where did they call it? Pull it. Two shots. He was in the, Did he pick it up? Yeah, he picked it up. Well, I'm so, I think that's two shots. He gathered the ball. He's in his upward motion. So Giffey picks up his second personal. And they are. They're going to give Clement Prepolich two free throws. Now this is a guy who had a double-double. 18 points, 12 boards, and five assists against Australia. Huge effort. And he's one that they can look to to get things going. Running a few things through him. Obviously, Luca with the ball in his hands. It's going to create a lot of attention in whatever they have in their playbook to try and get Prepolich some clean looks from the three point line is would be helpful right now. Roll off the screen from Tiemann. He rolls. And Lowe pulls up a three pointer. Demet quickly to Doncic. Nikolic step through three. Demet put back weak side. No, Wagner covers. Nearly bobbles it. And Prepolich is going to pick up his fourth personal foul. Straight away. Germany go to their bench. Their main man. Coming back on. Portman's going to join him as well. 
well. We can have to recognise their, their pattern on the offensive end against his own. Wagner left alone on the baseline. That's good for all three. And Barron's very happy about that in the stands. And that's cool for Slovenia when your game's on the line. Easy three point attempt. Mess. The foul coming in now from Germany. Slovenia's going to get another shot here. <laughs> It's just a breakdown. That they've been there in the zone defense and they tried to extend it, got it over the top of the, the front line. First one goes down for Dimas. Five points for Kurt Sekulich here tonight. 16 point gap, Slovenia is trying to close in on. That's it. He did a good job. He worked on the boards, picked up a couple of old boards. Toby comes back in. So, defense with those four fouls, privilege goes out. Oh, I think you need him in. I'd be risking him if uh, it was Slovenia because they need points. He can deliver him. Shooter spinning through traffic, dumps it off, misses. Boltman, one dribble. He'll hook it in. There's somebody who knows how to cut through his own defenses. Yeah. Well, that's a problem penetrating it with the pass, but that time just through speed got deep into the paint. Nikolic. Toby. No. Hanging on in close range in Slovenia. We get to take it in from the inbound. Dante here playing 29 minutes. Toby gives it back. Cutter Khan and knocked away. Boltman there with the block. Make a reach. Impressive defense. Take away. Steps up for the three pointer and that goes in. Alexei's make a reach. It's just the fact that he hit the three, but the pace gets down there, early threes, and of course it's a lot easier to do that when it's coming from a turnover. So some nervous times now for Germany. But Wagner answers eye for an eye. That leads the tension a lot. That's the second time he's in the last few minutes he's knocked down the three ball just to give Germany that buffer zone, and now he's playing some D. Knocks it out of Toby's hands, and he will go oh. Hard on the other end. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man is fired up. He's going to get to shoot two free throws. Help him up. It is good D. Good ball pressure. Clean knock. And Toby just let it be dangerous. He goes into the supports, but no damage done. He's pretty happy with his work, as he should be. Couple of threes. Steal. He played the 12 minutes as his brother, who hasn't been ruled out for the tournament, rolled the ankle in the first game of the tournament against Finland. Defense <laughs> ratcheting up here for Germany. Around the horn we go for Floor. And Toby 
Coach Sekulich here calling for a review. You can't get anybody's attention. He wants to review it. All right. Boy, he just can't give you two shots. How can it be two shots if the score doesn't count? They're not in the bonus. One shot. There you go. One shot, so the bucket counts. Okay. Teamwork here. Bucket counts for Horvath. Well, it's confused by the players because we saw the official count. He went to the sideline after waving it off. He put the two fingers up and said, two shots. You can't have two shots and not the bonus. Oh, he's missed it. They're the ones when you're playing catch up you need to make. Sekulich is going to use his review here. I don't know what on. Inside the court! Inside the court! I made the signal that head coach challenge. We'll be able to listen in here, Andrew. He had a man school. Okay. Yeah, the blue one. Yeah, ball is white. Yeah, ball is white. Ball white. Let's go. I confirm ball white. White ball. Tell me what you think about that. Well, you can't take it with you, and it is a crucial stage, so it looked pretty clear cut. I don't know what Toby was telling the coach. Maybe he thought Bonga coming from behind had more on it, but he lose his challenge. So that's done. But when you're trailing it by 15, 6 to go, that was not an unreasonable challenge to get that one back. Have another possession. Yeah. 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 Holding his hip, shaking it up. The white flag here, or do we see him no, again? I don't think so. Just that just a quick rest. Down the horn for Germany. Low. Hits one. Oh, no. Low. A three-pointer keeping the team at bay. Three-point line tournament. He's shooting off. He's shooting Toby, Horvath driving in, and he will go to the free throw line. Bonga picking up his third personal. Going the bonus now. the first. He plays in France, where he 83% shooter last season. It's about this type of shooter, cherry picking by the rain. It was so quick, I'm not sure who it came from. A lot of men. Inbound. Oh, 
Horvat to the corner. Petrovic misses. And Germany going to slow their roll. Yeah, this is about time management now as well. Not looking for anything quick, unless it's Dennis Schroeder for the three ball. And he's wide open. And that's gonna, at least that feels like it's going to do it here for Germany. Up by 21. Toby loses it. Yeah, Toby's upset because he thought mm -hmm. that's twice, twice he's been stripped at the top, and that time he thought there was too much contact. Listen, after he already lost it, and he just said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to get the money's worth. He gave an absolute mouthful and thoroughly deserved the tech. Shrewd up. Shoots the bonus. Shooter penalty for the tech. Double double for Shooter here tonight. He's got 24 points, 10 assists. Oh. And he's taking a spell. And could secondly choose to call a timeout. Daniel Tice is the first one to give him a, a pat on the back when he comes off. Got into it the first Water. <laughs> So Dennis Schroeder and Germany looking like the more complete team here. A pass. That was. Just too much space. That's a guy that's on fire in this filament. You can see the separation. His family here, the first to celebrate. Yes, sir, you do have ice in your veins. It's four of seven from the field in this one. And look at his uh, energy meter here. It is. That, that, that halfway mark of the first is when the timeout was called, and he had a good six or seven minutes on the bench. As they tried to work through some things and they worked through them nicely as evidenced by the scoreline here with a 22 point lead their largest of the contest and, and mo wagner will head to the free throw line to see if he can add three more onto this lead Coming back onto the floor, Bonga gets a rest. Dude, Bonga's one of those blue type guys that does a bit of everything. And he's so versatile. And what's helped them against Slovenia is when they running into those on balls, he starts on he started on Doncic. And when they switched and they roll the big, he's got that size to contend with the roll. Short, the other big guarding Don Luca was an issue, but they were able to close out test three balls. So the, the formula and the strategy for Germany and how to contain Luca has been successful, albeit that Luca has got 23. And he's not in the form that we saw him at when he started this tournament. As Mo Wagner really wanted that steal. Doncic here, likely to stay out the rest of this contest. These two teams moving on to Manila. And if the score stands, Germany will have the top seed. And Slovenia the second coming out of this group play. 
David Kramer coming on for Germany. He's seen minimal minutes, but when he has come on, he's another one that can fill it up from the perimeter. Low, wing shot, good. Two for three from beyond the arc for Lotto. Low. His stat percentage is growing every time he takes a three ball. It's not a, it's not a small sample size either. He's had 25 three-point attempts. After that last one, he's well above 50%. Mass can't figure it out, but he's right now he's been three or four years in this one. So he's 14, 26, whatever that is. What it is, you know what it is? Really good. Well, just. plays his football in Japan, in the second division of Japan. And it's been an incredible environment here in Okinawa. The fans, the energy, the competition. You just know that these two teams have much more basketball in front of them as they compete for a World Cup. I'll be anxiously after this one, watching the Spain Canada game. To see how it's out. Lafayette already threw after that win over Brazil. Wagner, wing three. It's off. He meant to kick it. And you can tell the air out of the arena. It's just gone. Slovenia and Somar. There's just not enough time. Germany, the more complete team here. And for you, Andrew, what really stood out to you about this well, contest? Well, what stood out is after the first quarter, the way in which Germany were able to break it up on the defensive end. They have been really stingy in what they've done. And this is a Slovenian team that's on the... The tournament's been averaging 92 points a game, and with two minutes to go, they've only got 66 on the board. So the defense has been good, and the way in which they were able to weather the score. So many have got 14 up early in the contest, and Germany were in, having all sorts of problems, not just with Slovenia, but internally, as we saw firsthand in the timeout. And the way in which you work through those issues shows a lot of maturity. I mean, they had some emotions that they got out of their system and it didn't let them, didn't have an impact on the remainder of the game. In fact, it might have actually helped them, give them a little spark. Do you think about the two guys that got into it, Schroeder being the captain of this group and, and being 29 years old and then Daniel Tice, 31, these guys are you know, experience both in life and basketball. So to see them kind of scuffle a bit, come back together, love on one another, and then put together a performance like this where Germany is going to head into the next phase unbeaten. Yeah. From the top position. Schroeder's definitely done his job here tonight. And Andrew, as you have evaluated and seen a lot more basketball on the other side of the brackets, how do you see these two teams kind of playing through? Yeah, it's going to be a challenge. I think Germany have got the tools to get all the way through to the semi-final and play off for a medal. You see the depth. You've got Schroeder, who is elite at running the team. They've got good size. So, and we've still got more to come if Franz Wagner can get healthy. Uh, I think Slovenia have reached their peak. I think it's going to be tough in this next one, whoever they play against. And particularly, and I say that because Luca, clearly he's, he's not 100%. And they need everything to go right with him in particular. 
Toby, those three in particular need to have exceptional games against the better teams. And if you take any one of them out, it causes some problems. So it's not beyond them, but it's, it's going to be difficult. With Doncic, you know, was suspecting not at 100%. The defensive effort from the opposite team can now kind of flex their yeah, their pieces. True, and, and not everyone's got the tools of Germany, but I think the blueprint of what they've done is to say, well, okay, we're going to switch, and if he takes advantage of the bigs on him, so be it, but we're not going to allow anyone else to, to go off. And in contrast, early on, Australia, they were double-teaming him, which is not a bad uh, option of trying to get the ball out of his hands, but they weren't able to contain the others. And Germany here has delivered the victory. Slovenia meeting their match. And the Germans will move on to the quarterfinals unblemished. Their record standing now. Seven, excuse me, eight straight victories in a row on World Cup stage. And they will go in as the top seed from Okinawa. Dennis Schroeder, the catalyst on both sides of things today. As Luka Doncic shakes things up. These two will see each other as everybody prepares to take flights tomorrow to Manila. These, these two teams will be. And uh, Lefty is going to be one of them. Another one will either be Canada or Spain, whoever it may be. It's going to be a, a real tough matchup for both these teams. But that's what happens when you get down to the quarterfinals. There's no bunnies, there's no easy beats, and they've had to do a lot, a lot of work in order to get there. You can't work away into the quarterfinals of a FIBA World Cup. 32 team start and 32 high quality teams and at the pointy end. You've got eight teams that all would have claims on being able to win a medal. So it's the beauty of the competition. It's going to be enthralling to watch. Just a heap of talent on display. Coach Gordon Herbert's team, the more poised, the polished, the deeper bench. We saw some adversity early on with Schroeder and company. It is a TCL player of the game, Dennis Schroeder. And you know what it also, it, it, the coach had to hold his nerve. He had to sit his superstars down and sort some things out. But what he also had to do is stick with his strategy. Early on, the strategy was vulnerable. Slovenia were, when they were switching, were, were making the most of it. But he stuck with his belief and eventually got the result he was looking for and the strategy looked great. Schroeder was the TCL player of the game with 24 points and 10 assists. He was ably supported by a group. They shared around, like we said, right from the start. Wagner had 10 with the double figures. Tice had 14. Bonga with the 12. And all of a sudden, Neil Skippy steps up and he picks up 10. So they put 100 on the board and they spread it around. Should be a happy locker room. And so now going from here, these two teams going, now a travel day, right? But how do things change? How do the gears turn up a notch? What happens, Andrew, between now and the quarterfinals beginning? Well, it's a lot of rest because you want to get the body right, particularly for Slovenia. they got some niggles that they need to figure out. And most of the time it's going to be spent in the video room. The video room going through the, the scout and figuring out your strategy that you want to implement. You won't have a lot of time to get actually on the floor. You'll get to the Philippines, you'll get some shots up, and, but you won't do too much intense work on the floor because recovery and getting the body right is, is going to be just as important as anything else. So it's not what all these players want, is sitting around watching tape. But that's what they're going to be doing. They don't use tape anymore. Watching uh, what, what's in the video, whatever the format it might be. And 
I think this German team, a lot of confidence generated from a very comfortable 29 point win. And they reversed that 24 point loss that took place a couple of years ago at the Tokyo Olympics. No love lost between these two teams, just a whole lot of respect on the floor. And you're right, Andrew Gaze. Germany avenges that loss back in Tokyo. So a look at the final standings here in Group K, of course. Germany, Slovenia moving on. They will head to Manila and continue on in the quarterfinal round. Australia and Georgia head home. They do. Australia, though, at least they head home secure in the knowledge that they've got their place in the Paris Olympic Games next, next year. And for these two, it is Germany that continues their historic win streak here on FIBA World Cup stage. More basketball ahead. For Andrew Gaze, I'm Jasmina Barton. We say good night and farewell from Okinawa.